when he was born, Thuwayba, who was the slave of Abu Lahab, Prophet Muhammad Wasallam's uh, uncle, she went to him and gave him the good news. Now he was so happy at this act, he was so happy at this act that he freed her. He said, to a girl you are free. And he also said to her, I would like you to, be- I would like you to breastfeed him. Now, it's interesting because Abbas, years later, had a dream. And in his dream, he saw his brother suffering in the fire. A horrible, horrible suffering. And he said to him, did not your relationship with our nephew avail you anything in the hereafter? And he said, no, by Allah, it didn't except for one thing. The fact that I showed happiness at his birth and I freed Tawaiba, he goes, sometimes due to that act, I'm given a few drops of water. So if that is what Allah can do to the most hated of individuals, him along with Abu Jahl, the most cursed and wretched and hated of individuals to Muslims, here and to the folk of the skies, then you and I have surely have a hope that no matter how sinful we are, no matter what our internal condition is, if we have true love for Muhammad right, that will avail us something in the hereafter.